Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross at Chronopolis! Let's see if they still wear underwear in the future. Take on some of the robot guards that they got going on here. One of the reasons why I've got Guile in my party at this point in the game is that a lot of the enemies remaining in the game are white elemental. So Guile will be very, very useful for pretty much the rest of the game, really. So, yeah, I'm going to be using him a lot. I just got Fargo along because there's quite a few uh, red elemental enemies, too. So, just in case. But, yeah, basic strategy for pretty much this entire area. Wow! Guile's amazing with that Donatorite rod against robots here. But, yeah, I mean, Eagle Eye Guile. Uh, use a Fierce Attack. And then if there's enough enemies left, then just use uh, Black Hole against them. And that pretty much... Ruins their day, pretty good. It's better than Deluge against the Red Elementals, even. Eh, let's fast forward to this. We've seen Black Hole before. I've seen plenty of Black Holes in my day. I wonder what experiments they're doing around here. They're talking about something with time and everything. Huh. Oh, I suppose it is called Chronopolis, so... Let's take a look around. And raid some of their treasure, too, while they're at it. I don't know why, like, this office building has a whole bunch of random treasure chests lying around, but you could say that about just about any RPG, really. So, we'll just take it and don't ask questions. I like the music for this area. It kind of reminds me of the Dead Sea. You know, both of the areas seem to have a pretty good, uh, well, tr soundtrack going for them. By the way, some of those enemies that I was just fighting in the last battle, they can drop uh, power seals, which is pretty good. I wonder why opening that uh, cabinet there reminds me of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Eh. Yeah, let's go down here, because apparently there's a trick to opening that door. Let's press this button here and fall into the water! No, no, just kidding. It extends the bridge, but we can't get to the other side. Hmm. And of course, as we all know, RPG characters cannot swim. So yeah, we're not going to swim to the other side. So yeah, let's operate the robot. Why not? I kind of like this little puzzle that they got here. You basically got to navigate the robot now without falling over the edge into the pits. The water is kind of pushing me to the left and the right, or left and up a little bit. So you got to kind of be careful. Somehow the robot opening the chest is good enough for Surge. So, yeah, just be careful not to fall into the water. There we go. And you can, pr like it said, you can press triangle at any time to start over. Oh, well, there's a cure-all element. I guess I didn't have to find it. Then. Whoa! Yeah, you fall over. No, I did that on purpose so I could just... It's faster to go back to the beginning. If you fall over, that's what happens. Nothing, no real penalty, you know, just, you know, try again. Let's go up here this time, because we can't... Whoa! Yeah, we can't whoa. Only robots can whoa. There we go. No, no, we gotta uh, press the switch on the other side with the robot. Ha! There we go. And I think that's everything we can do there. Yay! Nice little puzzle. They gotta do that more in RPGs, kind of like Lufia 2. They did that a lot there, as I recall. Let's move on to the other side, then. Hmm. Let's see if we can open this door from this side. Hmm. There's still a trick to it. Well, if you go over here, press the blue button, it turns into a red button and opens the door for us. Yay! Not much of a puzzle. You know any good RPGs that have, like, say, Zelda-like puzzles, you know? I've been playing a lot of Zelda lately. I mean, I've always liked Zelda, I just never really mentioned it before. There's a lot of games that I'm interested in other than Final Fantasy or Chrono Trigger or Chrono Cross that I just don't talk about. I mean, I, it's not the only thing I'm into, it's just, oh, uh, well, it's a big part of it, though, that's all. There's a guy here, I don't know if you can see it, some viewers, I can barely see him. Appar oh, I was going to say, apparently he doesn't want to talk. Whoa, that'd be pretty cool. Well, we can already kind of control time, can't we? I mean, the fact that we're alive. Or create new timelines. Ah, oh, okay. 
Yeah, it, it's too late to, you know, become a moral and decent human being, you know. We're just going to, uh, you know, say the hell with it. Hmm. Remember that guy for later, viewers. It'll be kind of important. This is like the dock area of Chronopolis. So, let's just keep that in mind for later. Uh, let's see. I'll take care of these losers later. We'll be back here. There's an elevator in the center there, if you want to. I think there's like four floors to this place. Or five if you include the basement. Uh, yeah, let's take out this guy. He's a new guy, but pretty much the same thing as the other ones. But, you know, it's just another robot. Well, I didn't know they had a diff different background here. I guess I kind of forgot about that. Okay, Guile, uh, your turn. I forget whether those guys are blue or white or whatever element they are. It doesn't matter. Guile isn't discriminatory. He just kills everything! With his rods! Ha ha ha! You see how powerful the prison mail is? Oh, baby! Hey, these guys don't stand a chance against me. It is just ridiculously powerful, the, the prison mail. I don't even need prison helmets. I mean, we will, eventually, but, you know... I'm not really going to... It's only like one more defense than the stone helmet. So, really, you know, I don't need to get stoned that badly. And I think that's the last of the level... Uh, or level gains, or stat gains from level ups that we're going to have for a little while. And in this chest we get the Forget-Me-Not pot. It essentially allows anyone to learn a doppelgang for Sprig. So, Sprig doesn't have to be in your party to kill them. Anyone can do it. So, let's see, I think there's a block up there. So, let's just walk in to here then. Okay, let's just, uh, oh, well, that was easy. I don't think there's any way around this. If there is, let me know. Crap. Hmm, gotta find a way to release that lock. And I think there's a lot of robots in here. Yeah, yeah, let's just take care of them off screen. Okay, I took care of all those guys. By the way, if you only run into two enemies, or robots, or whatever, uh, just Eagle Eye Surge, he can one-shot them, as long as they are not bigger than him. Whoa, what have they got a map of El Nido for here? Oh, how would you know all about that? Oh, so it was Destiny, huh? Oh, so someone actually created all this. Whoa. Someone, apparently, is manipulating time and fate, and there was a black dragon on? Well, I guess that's marble, but I don't recall it being called that, but whatever. Well, they created everything. Oh, so that's what the records of fate are. Memory terminal devices. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you guys were the research center staff. Hmm, so someone seems to be manipulating fate around here. I wonder who uh, that could be. Well, we'll learn more about that later, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry to ruin your perfect plans. Manipulating time and fate. Where was that lock release? Could it be on the desk right next to you? Yes, it is! Dumbass. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's all I came here for. Just to release the lock and learn a little bit about what's going on here. Hmm. Okay, well, let's head on back to the first floor first. Before uh, checking out what's behind door number two. And uh, I want to bring in another party member temporarily to uh, see what's behind that door there. So... Let's head on back to the first floor, take care of all these losers off screen, and then we'll head on back up there. All right, we're back on the second floor with Grobike in our party. Uh, you gotta bring him along in order to get a secret treasure here. So let's do that. Open the door here. Now, the combinations for these, like, little... I don't know what those things are, but close them all, and... You have to enter a, a lock release here. If they're all closed, zero, 00 will work and it'll open up. And you get a recharge element, or five of them. Uh, I don't know how they work. I think it's supposed to 
like let you use your elements again or something like that, but I could never get the damn things to work. If you know how they work, let me know, viewers, because that'd be pretty handy for later in the game, but I don't know. You, you got me on that one. And if you open this chest with Grobike in your party, you can pick th this up, a super weapon. Well, I guess it was from the future. And we get his level seven tech, strong arm. So I wonder what's going on around here. I mean, who's manipulating fate in the El Nido? Find out next time for massive plot dumping on Let's Play Quill Cross. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.